Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am, you are, and this is Breath Be Kicking with Eric Khan here on More Room. Um, for today, um, I want to do some breathing, deep conscious breathing, alternate nostril breathing. Continue our practice with uh, accessing altered states of consciousness. Um, continuing to use our visualizations for our manifestations. So when we are communing we are intentional with our communication with source, our ancestors on our path, our spirit guides on our path, our cells, our tissues, bone, chakras, all of our energies in one. We continue We continue. So, I would like to play the virtual piano my uh what's my call what you call it the um pitch pipe somewhere <laughs> it's somewhere probably in the van so for right now we will go to using our piano Hopefully that sound is resonating on the computer, on the uh, computer, laptop, computer sound, however. So this is the note of C, which is our root area, D, the sacral, E, solar plexus, F, the heart chest area, G, your blue throat chakra area, A, your third eye, B, your pineal crown. Source. I see. So we're going to open up with F sharp. Six three six three breath, and that is that's all it took, man. That's all it took. It took me some things. The more we talked it out, it's all right. Well, that's okay. Back to it. Uh, remember to stretch your mouth out. You know, you can. Even. 
apparently just uh be intentional being intentional with my movements stretching things out so even when i am alone i am comfortable with speaking my truth opening my mouth enunciating completing my sentences and practicing practicing those uh, practicing that breath control while essentially talking to myself is a great practice for when I'm out and about because then I can be in a state of daydreaming visualizing having these conversations as well so when the time comes we're in that flow state So I'm going to have the color of green. And that green light. Inhale into our chest area. Um, um, into our chest area. We can have green coming in through your crown into your chest heart area. Whichever works for you. And if you have another one, do that. Sure, you wanna <laughs> shout to uh Mr. Nicole Morales for that visual of having the magic school bus like enter in and then do a thing because i mean we've seen enough of those episodes to be able to reenact that in our minds <laughs> it's not as strenuous as you think it's quite wonderful and with practice viable a state of mind is viable you know uh Logically wise, logical wise is doable. So we inhale with all in mind, bring into our chest. We'll hold and we'll tap for three and release. Oh, keep tapping throughout the whole time. We'll do it three times. Deep exhale with all in mind. Inhale. chest area mm. place your hands in your lap palms up
So yeah, that's uh, a warm-up exercise that we learn, we put to practice, we use, modified, remix, however we need to. Libya. So I was sensing old patterns, which are with nothing new under the sun. Or no older new patterns, so however it's stated. Sus to a mon. Music is a wonderful connector. Um, looking at many of the artists that you grew up listening to, as well as the artists that are, that would be in your uh, birth chart connections, as far as houses, uh, sun sun, moon sun, the season, Rising, falling, light side, dark side. Mm. My own connections would be force, bodies of water, trees. Animals, certainly uh, connections I am grateful for. They provide much information. They provide an abundance of, of connections and activations within myself, whether it be courage, abundance, uh, Creativity, just a heightened awareness of ancestral knowledge, cosmic knowledge. Being awake in the dream state. Awareness of what to do, because those things uh, I remind myself of constantly. And knowing that I am very hard on myself. There are times I am not graceful with myself at all. Quite harsh.
great thing is all these emotions are programmable and trans mutable which is excellent so how shall we transmute this energy We've been working with blue heavy. So with the blue, the orange. But we're balancing those as well. And honestly, what's going to be next? Because we were in the red, experimenting with red for about two, three weeks. Like it went for a week and it was so heavy. The info was coming in so heavy. And so it was like, all right, let's go week two. Um, and the dope thing about that is we have been going at it with something to dive into, like for real, for real, and really practice. And, mm. and the color, color vibrations has been... Enlightening. That's where we'll go with that. Less definitions. Less writing, which is, you know. I'm in a much more calm state than I was earlier. For me, breathing and speaking is and uh, being active. Very good for me. When I am not. I have the tendency to run old programs. And go and get old programs. When I have these new ones right here. For me to use at any and all times. Such as meditation. How we visualize. How we meditate. Hmm. How we consume. What, what we are consuming, our cleansing methods, our psychic protection, our making use of our grounding, sunlight, I think it's clear right now, so after this we should go out. Our children have a soccer game today, which is awesome. They've had two weeks off with uh, Easter last week and, well, week off last week and then Easter the week before. And we've had two weeks off with Easter and then we were rained out last week and it's supposed to rain tomorrow as well, so. It would be good to uh, just just a way to um, 
Enjoy. Smile and watch will be here. Maybe they'll rest before we go in. Who knows? Hmm. Plan to take in herbs for the rest of the day. Breathe, meditate. Um, a great thing to do, make use of for anyone. I don't like using the word quick fix. I gotta, uh, here's a way to be spiritually efficient. You know, there was a time where there was no way I would ever have my search, my searches open for anything. Boy, these recent files used to be, well, you know. Yeah, we all have our time. And yes, I have a folder dedicated to the show, Doug. That is right. Se season two and season four. Back up. Let's see. Uh, what was I doing? Hmm. We're talking about something, and then I was going to go get a book. The book was about, ah, all right, so, well, let's do it this way. Which one is this? All right. So this is More Room, Library 2, which is in the, many of the, the, the uh, descriptions on the YouTube videos here. You can access this. It's in the email. Access. You'll be an editor. There's other folks in there, too. Go in, read what you like. Shoot. Get you a whole Google Drive thingy, 15 gigs worth, and download the whole motherfucking thing. Then you'll have your own. And there is something about downloading that activates the download that's already in you. Something about it. It does. Because when it's time to grab that book, it's right there. When it's time to do that search, it's right there. So you can type in Mudra. And then we have books on Mudras, right? Mudras for spiritual healing, memory improvement, Mudras for women, anxiety, chakras, sex Mudras, yoga in the hands, mantras and Mudras, putting the mantras and Mudras together. Like the uh, Durga. Oh, um, See what key to put that in. And it's a way to configure that. I can do it. I can do it. Oh, 
Here we go. Yenamaha. Oh, there we go. Yenamaha. You don't know shit, nigga. What you talking about? Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see, Mooch is all in this motherfucker. Um, meditations for the hands and voice to bring peace and inner calm. Access the deity, self deification the deity within. So reading the dedication, the course, contents, first steps, taking refuge mantras. Yeah, this is the get in, get in. Now, of course, you got the. For me, I like spiritual healing, right? When you yeah, like, you know, it's gonna give you the what are they? Form and function. How to use them? You know, see the position. You know, the ins and outs, what you learned and how to do it in school. This is basically the, how would you do it? How would you teach this in school? And also, I mean, yeah. What it is, name of it. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, ba ba. See the position. See the comfortably, upright posture. Rest your palms to your chest. Mm -hmm. How long to do it? What to do and how long to do it, right? What to do and how long to do it? That's when you you want to continue. You, However it goes, you start with this one. You go to the next one. You start with that one. And then you're like, hmm, I wonder what this, you know, looking them up and whatnot. That's how it was for us. And then we fall into other ones. Sing that in a, um, a certain way. Taking certain refuges and whatnot. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And look, if it resonates with you, go ahead. Because just because you haven't done it, you haven't remembered doing it on this earth plane in this lifetime. You got other past lives as well. And them up is trying to let you know something too. Those are versions of yourself just coming through to say, hey, I'm here too. I got something for you. I got an update for you. It's time! It's time! It's Vader time! Look! Hmm. Visualizations as well. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You slow the Is this the uh, is this the pull up? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna make preferences.
I'm actually saying it, not in that one. Oh, there we go. Make the full length even short prostration. See, I said you can visualize yourself prostrating. Now, um, this is a very for some for someone as myself that went through the programming of uh, lots of restrictions, having to ask for permission, those sorts of things growing up, like life or death type of shit. So, uh, making things seem as if they were life or death. Being able, having the information that I could just visualize myself doing something, being in a state of mind, if I didn't have the physical tool right then, that was some of the, that was very freeing for me, very freeing for me. I mean, at the time, I, I didn't even know what the Kabbalion was or life was mental or all is mental. You know, I would watch The Matrix, but I, there was only a level that I could get to, obviously. There was only a level I was going to get to with what I had uh, accepted about my own life. So just knowing the uh, visualization was there for me at all times. And that really kickstarted a lot of things, as well as removing so many thought forms that weren't useful anymore. Because because when I, because even when the um, the whole manifestation manifestation came to me for myself, I'm like, oh, that's what that is. Okay. And I was like, all right, I hear about this certain herb. So I would have meditations where I visualize drinking the herb, making it, smelling it, those sorts of things, using it. And then I would use some of the herbs and organic stuff that we had here. Just, you know, try those out. Then... There you go. Boom. We in. So, the visualization. Yes. Freedom. So much, so much. Freedom. Uh, For this one, if you're more of a visual person, you need to see it. Then watch the video of prostrations. Calm the mind and generate devotional thoughts. Think. Reverently, I prostrate with my body, speech, and mind, and take refuge in the Guru, Triple Gem, Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, all energies within. Next, place your palms together, touching the top of your head, then bring down and touch your forehead, then down again to touch your throat, and then touch your heart, A, B, C, and D on page 8. So, Tom. Oh, we go down a little bit more. And no one. Then bend down, kneel on the floor, place your hands, palms down on the floor. If you are making a short prostration, lower your head. Lower your forehead until it touches the ground and then get up. Repeat three times. For the long prostration, stretch yourself full length on the floor. After you have lowered yourself, see up. Raise your palms above your head. Then get up. Do not stay too long on the floor and make your prostrations with focused concentration. Think reverent, reverential, reverential thoughts and dedicate the merit 
created to your own spiritual awakening. Keep your feet together and your fingers crossed as you prostrate. <laughs> Qigong as well. Concentrated movements. Concentrated breath. Eyes closed and crossed, however. Intentions. Being intentional with your movements. Breath and mind. May have to YouTube this and watch this one. So with these, um, read the book, right? Now, maybe you're looking for something specific. So if you're in that mode and you already know what you're there for, Spirit's already got you here and you, you know, you feel that, you feel it. You get the notifications, then do what you do. For those, you know, first time ever, just start. Start, start reading and um, practice and for myself, I practice and move on to the next. Then add to the practice as we go. And then by the time you hit the end of the book, you know, you may, the end of the book may be page 70 for you or page 50. Or just two and then add on however. Or it may be this one. Maybe this this mantra, this mudra. Yeah. However it may be. However it may be. So this one has the more in depth. This one's got your forms and functions, and the other as oh, as the connection that you got. It's like, all right, why would you be doing this in the first place? Because I'm pretty sure some of the mudras and mantras gonna feel so natural. Like, whew, man, that, yeah. especially during those visualizations, wherever you're going, whatever you're going to be doing, so that's all. I'm telling you, man, I feel like I have, like, I've even gone through, like, 10% of these books, which is just ridiculously not even close. Like, the 10% we've gone through is very nice. It could be 50. This one, this Qigong, man. This is definitely one. Which one is this? Chi Gong and Kuji in. The I am the I am someone who has gone through the oh snap, my drive isn't working or whatever. Or something's going on with me. Or my, um, what's this called? My external hard drive isn't functioning <laughs> at the moment. 
you know, I've definitely gone through those. So I have a drive, I have a Google drive. I got the external hard drive as well. I'm like, so that way I can access this, access it wherever. So even if I don't have Wi-Fi or anything, we got it there. And we've downloaded so many of these books again anyway. So, yeah. And of course, all of these books are already in my subconscious already. Because if they weren't, I wouldn't have downloaded them in the first place. So yeah, I think this is going to be one we jump on for this weekend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We did. What did I do the other day? I did body tapping for my fifth graders. And they were like into it for a little bit. No, 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 not them. The second graders. Yes. My second graders. Yes. So. Hmm. I will say there is something about me i i get very hard on get very hard on myself when i don't have that same zeal all the time like especially if i'm playing a role like i i enjoy scoring 35 every night like i really do some some of those nights man when i'm only dropping 17 or going like two for 19 and you know didn't go to the free throw line and turnovers here and it's just like that's how it is with um, being in a teacher role, sub role, coaching role. I myself, um, When I'm the best version of myself, I am unstoppable. That's it. No excuses, no reasoning, no hypotheticals, no questions. Not so sending my um, subconscious mind and spirit guides and ancestors on some journeys to find truth to Francis that I already know. Or maybe the questions that just don't need to be answered or asked. So, when I'm the best version of myself, I am unstoppable. Therefore, be the best version of myself and continue. Because we can definitely see what it is like when we are, you know, and even when we are, some weeks, man, it's just, mm. some weeks is really Especially out here, it's just 
When I get around people, things change. Other energies, man, it's just... Mm hmm. So, that's it. Continue. Um, we'll get some reading done. Open up some portals that have it been. Hmm. Let's see what this about. I mean, there's other books as well. Hmm. Are there? I'll just put you. Ah, yes. That was. There we go. Chi self massage, towers, ways. Mm hmm, 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 the shit you can barely say, the shit to roll off your tongue. Kabbalah flip off, waste your match, poetic manage. Sakim Apep, Siphonian, Vampire Magic. Yep, that's right. That's right. Yes, indeed. Yes. Book reflexology, acupressure. Fusion of the five elements. The, hip, the six healing sounds. Now this one. Mm. So, for me, uh, I have many books on. No, gnosis of self, self gnosis, man. Heal thyself, know thyself, all that fuck shit. You know what it is. Goddamn. You see what this shit is? It's like Taoist yoga for uh, sexual energy. It's like... So you can do more than just bust a nut. So you can enjoy sex like you're supposed to. So you can enjoy your masturbation like you're supposed to. You know? There's more ways to go at it than the way you've been going at it. And I mean, look how it was brought to our attention. We were pretty much shamed into it at a very young age. Before we even knew what to do with these things, we had to have shame about them. You know? Those who were taken advantage of. Those who were feared into being taken advantage of. Those who were feared and never were taken advantage of in that manner, that sexual manner. Physically, abruptly, uh, and then again, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. I don't know, you know what, separating them doesn't really do much, because in a way of, uh, whatever, not philosophizing this shit, because energy is energy, projected energy is projected energy. Motherfuckers is projecting whether you know it or not. And I'm pretty sure your spirit guides is protecting you. You know what I'm saying? Got your shields up and whatnot. If you ain't working out, you ain't being active, singing, dancing, moving, you know what I'm saying? Releasing, not holding on to your stress and you know what I'm saying for too long. Your relaxation practices, your sunlight getting. You're communing with nature. You're not doing that innately. Then you'll be attracting those and holding on to those thoughts. Motherfuckers over here beaming that they want to fuck you in the ass all day on Sunday. And for some reason, you got that shit in your mind. Like, why? Or you feel a certain type of way when you're in a room. 
Shit, man. So, whether a motherfucker was doing that shit to you, physically, or mentally, clearly that shit fucked it up. Regardless. So, now knowing the psycho protections. Psychomancy, mm-hmm, Psych psychic, psychic self-defense, mm-hmm, psychic development, whoo, this one right here, I enjoy, I enjoy doing this book, this book is dope, yeah, man, Psychastra, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, come on, man, shit, get the motherfuckers up off of you, Cause some of them motherfuckers, you, we have uh, pulled into ourselves, we just been connected for a very long time. Shouldn't have left you without a dope peep to step to. It's like, you don't know you're supposed to cut the motherfuckers off. You don't know that. Like, we were something some some other time and some other place and some other dimension, but just not this time. Just not this time. You know? You were a warrior in another time, but just not this time. Wow. Was that that loud? Oh no! Oh, what else it was? Turn it down. Yeah, my clipping. Um, using color magic, color therapy. Ah, uh, that might be in the other one. Ah, uh, well, no, we got this one. Color magic. Yes, 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 yes. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Yep, 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 yep. So look, man, I mean, any ways you want to get at it, what you want to do? That channel's all coming from source. I mean, it's all coming from source. And if it's fuck, fuck shit, you won't even read it. It won't even come your way. You won't even click on it. It'll never be. It, it, it'll be just like this. It'll be like that shit just sitting right in front of you. But then when you move your eyes in certain ways, that shit will disappear. Come on, man. You know how it be. We know how to manipulate our sight to see what the fuck we want to see. So in that case, close them bitch asses and use this one right here. And then you can be in what you be in. You be in some real shit. Some shit that you ain't got to goddamn uh, uh, send to the bank to make sure somebody sign off on so you can get your shit. Me, I was tired of third party consent. I was tired of having an intermediary to tell me what the fuck to do all the goddamn time. Especially when their agenda was not in alignment with my path. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Everybody can have the best intentions, but usually people have the best intentions for themselves. And then they project that out. You know what I'm saying? Based off how they were raised, how they were programmed. And, you, and we talking about from the womb, nigga. We ain't talking about just from like six months up, like zero to seven. Nigga, we talking about from the zero, zero. From the thought process of it. She. How many motherfuckers came to this planet off of the thought of I'm trying to bust a nut tonight. Whoever pick up this phone gonna get this dick. Yes. That's how many of us arrived on this planet. Crazy thing about it, we signed off on that shit. Let's keep scrolling. So, use a planetary hours, hours in the color. Look, and many of these things, I have been able to, to research, access, and get to. So now, whenever I'm getting into a book that I've downloaded like two, three years ago, now I'm actually seeing for the first time. It literally has things and concepts in there that I'm like, wow, now we get to build on what we had before. So now, 
it's even going to be more powerful and we can do more with it so yeah and using the color magic for self-healing um the healing for others as well going into meditation and using those colors um using those instruments using those tools like if you're reading something um we're doing uh color magic color therapy right now and using the uh, chromatone chromatized chromatone chromatized water so having it in a jar that is the color of what you're going to be using whether it's blue blue light sky blue uh green red yellow however it may be so if you have some um intestinal issues think putting the red light over that for the bladder and chromatizing that water putting it out in the sun so you're trying it you're taking those steps you're doing those experiments you're not checking with uh uh you're not checking with downtown to see if you need a permit for it you're not checking with your mama to see if it's okay you're not checking with your daddy to see are they going to send, send send me to hell do, do I need to make a post about it on YouTube to see if anybody likes it first before I do it? Is anybody going to send me to the crazy house? Like all these fears you, you, you speak out, we invite to us. But just know those things were projected onto us. We were projected to think that way. And talk that way. Come on over here. Get some goddamn candle burning ritual. Learn about the mythology of color. I mean, your knowledge of colors, my knowledge of colors only went so far. I mean, you know, colors, what you can use them for. Oh, blue makes me sad. And, uh, you know, this, you know, all that type of stuff. I already know in the programming that goes into that shit. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Especially the uh, properties. So we're going to do this. One. Literally talk to myself into new bookage put that one in the chamber and the more self-healing that you do You'll be more aware of what is actually going on, especially beneath the surface, what you can't see, which will in turn um, be very beneficial for you in the dealings with others. If you know there's, if you have a, if you are aware that there's more than just you in the room. There's more than just you and them in the room. There are other factors going on. They may be yelling because that person that they're having an argument with for the first, for the fourth time or the second time or the first time reminds them of their dad or their uncle who is always restricting them, restrictive. I don't like it when people tell me what to do. <laughs> hmm. I don't like being told what to do. I don't like being told that I have to, instead of five cookies, I got to eat three. Don't tell me to eat three. I'll eat five if I want to. I'll argue you up and down. Like what? So now we're getting into a space where we're just, Letting go of those arguments. Um, people are way tapped into their egos. And I've been there as well. So <laughs> being able to see mine helps me be aware of others. Or knowing how about we vibrate in a space where their ego ain't touching us. Where we're not even at the level of where their ego is at. So now they got to do something different. So instead of us capitulating, they're the ones who got to do whatever because we are in our own space and maybe 
more than likely, we won't even pick up on it. We won't even recognize it. That, I feel, is one of those royalty shits. When you're vibrating at a level in which people got to treat you like royalty. Because they can't treat you shitty. And yeah, you may get some awkward uh, interactions with people. Yes, you probably will. You know, but... Shouts to you for taking your shield down. Shouts to you for taking your shield down. Because, you know, not everybody uh, takes their shield down to play nice and be nice and those sorts of things. But uh, the more pleasant you are with yourself, the more pleasant you will be in your dealings with others. And you won't have to dive into that low vibrational energy as much, I feel that's how it has been for me what did it say fight fire with fire seems to be some low vibrational energy right using elements for an element fight an element with an element you would fight another element with another element with the same element redundancy so it's like Let's fight fire with fire. So instead of balancing, let's fight. Let's be at opposition. Let's be a versus. The NBA playoffs on about the Memphis Grizzlies and the Los Angeles Lakers. It's protected as being versus. It's either or. Ah, oh, the perils of this place. Anyways, lessons learned. Um, I'm going to read and do some things. and Get some water. Go outside, walk in the grass. Hot out. So, your shirt on. No socks. No shoes. Enjoy your day. For today, uh, learn more about yourself that you didn't know. There's some things out there that you have a feeling about or maybe you're nervous about knowing. But, but let it be about self. Why? Now, if that ain't you, then, you know, it is what it is. You'll get there eventually. And if not, then happy loopage. So, you know, learn some things about yourself that not so. That unknown, man, is... Uh, there are times... But at least, at least the awareness is there to where that shadow is available. You know, it's not hidden anymore. You don't want that shit hidden, hidden, hidden. Like, you don't want some deep-rooted shit to be like deep, so deep fucking rooted and hidden. Every time you try to get to it, that shit be escaping. Like on some fucking movie or not, something. That shit is not like that, man. You better go inside yourself, close your eyes, and be like, hey. <laughs> hey. 1987, nigga. Where you at? Yeah, yeah, you with the curl and shit. Barely talking and pissing and shit. Yeah, you, you, you. Yeah. Well, let's talk, Nick. Let's talk. Um, it be like that. I feel it's that simple. On the visualization as well as the meditation. Um, and during those meditations, forgiving self, forgiving those who were connected in those situations, those circumstances, those judgments, um, how they were given, how they were served to you. <laughs> oh, how they were served to you. Yeah. 
Um, always good to update yourself. Update your, uh, update whatever version of yourself you're with in meditation. Whether it's your 10 year old self, your 12 year old self. You're going back to let your 12 year old self know that it's safe. To be around women again or it's safe to be around boys again it's safe to be around older men it's safe to be in the locker room those sorts of things you know update yourself and be like hey i just want to let you know that we ain't scared no more and i understand why you were at that time i understand why you know i didn't get it then and you know even after that i didn't get it i didn't get why other people you know woo 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 wah 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 blase blase blah You come back and, you know. We've seen so many movies where these things have taken place. We can put ourselves in those scenes, reenact those scenes, brown ourselves in ground. I'm true, brown ourselves in ground. Ground ourselves in brown and keep it moving. And however many times we need to complete the... Uh, meditation you know because sometimes it's not going to many times it's not going to be just one and done you know what i'm saying maybe some shit that you got to do for three days or five days you know what i'm saying every other day two weeks shit, you might have to do that shit for three times a week for a month two months however it may be whatever it may be and and when it comes to all this other outside shit Motherfuckers jump for joy. Oh, oh, I gotta work 70 hours. Well, I guess I gotta do that. Well, goddamn, push everything out the way for survival. You know what I'm saying? So, stepping into that strive mode, let that survival shit go. And how to let the survival shit go is not always by force, by physical letting go. You know, ment mentally, mentality, the heart. Using your inner faculties. Yeah. That ancient knowledge, it's all in there. That knowledge, that understanding, that masculine, that feminine, those principles, those energies are within. Mm, one or the other has been stifled. Obviously. <laughs> um, out of balance. And that seems to be the, what you fucking here for. And get a goddamn recovery. Get all the recovery info on all the people you've met. All the names. Like there are names of people that I remember, remember. Faces. Their connections, hidden connections. So, you make those connections. And uh, I've been making those connections for years now. And it's been very beneficial, especially for uh, dreams, meditations. What I'm meditating about, what we're manifesting Selecting an outfit. What colors or numbers? Do we play the lottery today? Or not even do we play the lottery today? It's like, oh shit, we are going to play the lottery today. Boom, boom, boom. I saw my numbers right there. All right, cool. And then you go in there, you play the lottery, and then you win. And then it's like, there's that intuition. Knowledge plus wisdom. The wisdom. Taking the knowledge of Watching those videos, <laughs> watching those uh, Brother C. Freeman L. videos on Spirit don't want you to be broke. You are rich. Rich in spirit. Rich in mind. Like the way he delivered, man, that should be on point, goddamn. So, hell yeah, like taking that knowledge. 
all them notes we was taking, all them numbers, number combinations we was doing and patterns and following the pattern, follow the drip, follow the drip, follow the drip. And uh, taking that knowledge and using the wisdom. The wisdom cultivated with doing those meditations and seeing ourselves winning and then letting it go. And then once we are out and about, we'll follow. Following those senses, using our breath, communing with spirit when we're out and about, using our mudras. Like using those mudras is like uh, and like one of those quick ways to really feel those cells and spirit moving through your body whenever and wherever. So like I go boom, I hit that one real quick and It's so much so whenever I'm not doing the mudra, I notice it. I notice it about myself. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yeah, the eating color. We been eating a lot of green. We also did a lot of meat in the past week. And like I said, sometimes when the habits come back, the eating habits are there too. Um as well as usually when we're eating meat, there's an ancestor around here. There's an ancestor that has popped up. It's like, hey, trying to get my attention for real, for real. Because, nigga, I do not eat meat like that no more. Because, for you know what I'm saying? It's just not appealing to me like that. I got two Wendy sandwiches in the fridge right now. And I saw some ants the other day. And I thought to myself, there's an ant saying something. Ant something. There's an ancestor saying something. And my mom called the other day to let me know that our Aunt Cora just had surgery. And she's out and about. She's good, though. So... That just clicked. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And I'm just talking, Anna. Just talking. We're about to get off like two or three times already. Especially in um, quote books, like when you're reading these, when you're consuming things, meditate before you do it. Imagine reading a chapter and what it's going to be like after you read the chapter. How you're going to be feeling? How great you're going to be feeling? Like uh, uh, the feeling of new information, more information. What you can do with it now. You know, mm. one way to change the color energy in your system is to eat it. Various foods or supplements. Changing your wardrobe. We've done that. We don't. We been in the blue energy for a while. And my dad is someone who I always knew as wearing some type of headgear, a bargain, a hat, something. So I always had something on my head, no matter whatever hair we had. Color preferences. And you're just projecting what you're working with on the inside as well. Yep, paint a room particular color. Mm. 
<clears throat> color projector requires color slides or glass. The um stained glass windows. Old fashioned gooseneck lamp <clears throat> with various color bulbs. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Color tones and breathing. Come on, man. What was we just doing before? It's everywhere. The breathing's everywhere. <laughs> Shit, son. Hmm. You see how my whole vibe just picked up just by seeing something I knew? Because I knew that I knew it. Therefore, if I'm reading something I've already known in another book that I've never read before, it means about that I'm about to I'm walking into a portal that allows me to access more information on it and be able to use more. I get to add more to the story. Red G. Scarlet G. Oh, oh, hold on. Before we go. Scales. Okay, scales are... Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So that's fine. I feel I tried to do that once. Anyway, yellow, A sharp. Musical note and frequency. See, that's the thing, 440. This is on the 440 scale. So you would just adjust it to the 432. That's all. Ain't no thing. And now that I know that, that's why I was like, hold up, wait a minute, what scale is this on first? And then, woo, woo, woo. Mm -hmm. Turquoise, C sharp, blue is D, purple, A sharp, violet, E, magenta, G, indigo, D sharp, lemon, B. And as we were starting, we did ah, with the option of using oh. The right color is breathing it. We use color for green. What was green for this one? See? What do we have? F. F sharp. There's not even an F or F sharp up here. Not for that one. But every book is different. That's why I say. Dive into as much as you can. Bringing in this dumb, I'm mentally picturing the particular color being drawn into oneself with the incoming breath. That was something we literally just did at the beginning of this. And that's dope. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wanted to share information that any book I can book out, any book I can pick out, the same for you. Any book that you can pick out, you could be able to go to it and see it. And just go to it. You go not go to a random page. Just using your knowledge plus your wisdom and get more understanding. I've never opened this book before. Till just now. For those who may have difficulty visualizing the various, follow your uh, intuition, your, um, what do you call them? Synchronicities? Yeah, there we go. Project the color while breathing? Holy shit. Oh, I gotta get one of these. I gotta get a fucking projector, nigga. This shit is... I can have like a, I can have like a goddamn blue room or a goddamn red room, a fucking blue red man. Come on, man. God damn, I like that. 
uh, per mm -mm. yo that would be dope like we were doing a uh, color therapy or somebody like doing a breath session and while we're doing the breath session that we're working on the heart chakra. You know what I'm saying? We got that green coming through here. With the tones in the background. Oh! It set it off and his mother was ooh. That'll definitely bring up some goddamn imagery. You hear me? Motherfucker gonna be goddamn releasing that shit left and right. Gonna be goddamn cut day in that bitch. See yes, yes, this right here. Yes, 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 yes. The advantage of color tone and breathers that the exercise can be done at quote unquote odd moments, which your ego would consider odd moments throughout the day without special equipment. So First things first, free. <laughs> second thing second, no setup. You ain't got to get this, grab that, make sure you bring this along. Oh, shit, I left this at the house. Or, man, I got to buy an extender. Or, yeah, nope, you ain't got to get none of that shit. You ain't got to hook it up to no goddamn app. You don't have to get no special permissions. You don't have to allow anybody else in so you can get your shit done for you. Nope, nope, nope. nope. You want to take back your goddamn time? This how you get your time in right here, goddamn. This how you get your time back and continue to create within the time that you already in. And you realize all this time is just blah, blah, blah. However, what up? I don't even think that's even something they even do. Who gives a fuck? For instance, let's assume that you are at work and just receive some disturbing news and wish to calm yourself down. Since blues and greens are colors of peace, you can take a few moments and mentally picture these colors being drawn into yourself with each breath. As your breathing slows down with each color breath, you will feel yourself becoming calmer and calmer, less and less nervous. The truth. And hold up, let me just stop my video. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, let me just do this. This is Wesley Snipes in Blade. He is about, this is the scene right before, it's like the third act. So he about the, I think um, this is after he found old white dude with the white hair and shit, dead. Fuck that, we about to play that shit. I gotta play that shit, cause that's in my goddamn playlist. Fuck that. Hold on. Yeah, we'll read through this. Da, da, da. Similarly, while walking, while walking, you can begin to picture a tone, particular color as you stroll along. The trouble recalling an appropriate pitch, you may wish to buy pitch pipe. A pitch pipe. Nigga, yeah, that's that shit, man. Hey, man, that goddamn pitch pipe is the truth. You hear me? Shouts to uh, Mrs. Mitchell. My uh, middle school teacher at North Middle, North Iredale Middle School. And as well as Mrs. Creech and North Iredale High School. Go Raiders. Go Bears. Uh, as well as Mr. Regal, a band teacher in middle school. I know we gave Mr. Regal a hard time, man. I mean, he came in there fresh. He was young. I think he was redhead too. And he had that military look. So, you know what I'm saying? He's probably about business. I don't know what sign he was or nothing like that. Or when he was born. But, um, man, we gave that dude a hard time, man. Man, we was hellish to that dude. God damn. <laughs> That's why when I be subbing, man, I just be like, look, I got like one or two days a week. One or two. Because doing that shit to myself over and over and over again, it ain't nothing about the kids. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing about all that other shit, man. It's just what I take on myself. 
And I, what I hear is, woo! So for me, the color toning and the breathing, we do the breathing and we have the mudras popping as well. So having that color in there too, as well is going to be dope. This vibe sounding, I know with the sprite, which can carry in a quote. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I literally do. I'll take it with me. So I'll be like, man, let me get in key. Let me re let me remind myself of my key. Let me activate my key before we go into here. Cause I might I might be on some, you know, I might be on some fuck shit right then. I need to goddamn chill the fuck out before I go in. Don't be. So even if I gotta kick some ass, I know I'm kicking the right ass. Because if not, I'm just going to wind up kicking my own ass and somebody else's who ain't even there for that shit. So let's, we're going to end this here. 1245. Oh, I think Maybe I just wanted to talk for a little bit. Blade. Trying to see if I can I'm look at my own shit history. There we go. Yeah, Whistler's death. This. Blade is about to use color magic right before he go into motherfucking goddamn he about to go get everybody. This is what you, this is what I do in these meditations and dreams. Use that color therapy, so you can go in your dreams. You can go in your meditation, your visualization, and you slice up whoever the fuck you got to. You know what I'm saying? Slice down whatever version need to be sliced down. If it's envy, not today, goddammit. Motherfucker did you wrong from 1982. All right. May not play. Oh, it's gone. took her listen to me the disc we decoded it Frost is trying to trigger a fucking vampire apocalypse there's some kind of Vampire God, he's trying to resurrect. The Mockler. You're the key. He needs your blood. Don't they all? Blood of the Daywalker. You're the chosen.
listen to me, Blade. You can't go after him. Oh, shit. If Ross gets his hands on you, it's all over. There'll be armies of them. Out there, like one eye willing. Give me I got my eye on you. No. Give me a goddamn gun. Give me a goddamn gun, Blade. You gotta kill yourself, cuz. Your own journey, pimp. You gotta do it no, yourself. Walk away. Walk away. Some shit. Walk away. Goddamn, it's time. It's motherfucking time. By the time you watch this, your friend Whistler should be dead. If it makes any difference to you, you put up quite a fight. You can find us at the Edgewood Towers. It's time. My calm state. That love is still there. That plant is grown. It ain't dead. Mm. That blue man. That human. <laughs> love story, goddammit. That's a love story right there. Get it? That time is up. Then he goes in. Whoops. All the ass you've ever seen. But yeah, getting to that state. Using colors. And of course, the blue goes even deeper with the ancients as well as blade. And his role was like, Like the older, the, the more mature in the movies I get, like the more is open, more opens up that you get to see that you didn't see before. You know, so the old man is cool and black, and you know, homie with the eye and shit. But like the care. Save mama. Saving that masculine. Using that masculine. That masculine energy. Using that knowledge. That feminine. Something the feminine inside of you already. That balance. Got to get that balance. 
you'll fight to anything. Fight for it. Fight through whatever. You fight goddamn vi vampires to get to that shit. But goddamn love. Balance and love. Niggas will fight vampires for that shit. <laughs> Niggas will go under the earth to find that shit. Niggas will go to different dimensions. Flying ships, my nigga, to find that shit. Will scorch a whole goddamn civilization because they ain't got it no more. Niggas will scorch the whole goddamn civilization because they ain't got mama love no more. Or they can get mama's acceptance. Tell it. Tell it. So, many of these movies show a path of self love. Um, your shadow self, using your shadow self, being a good use as well. I mean, you're an ancient god and here you are, an ancient titan, here you are on earth with all these fucking restrictions and dumbass rules. Like, you know, you know that spirit that dwells within you? We're going to have you pay for that. You know that spirit of water? That water spirit that dwells within you? Just like it does around the world. You'll pay for it here. <laughs> like what? <laughs> and then, you know, here we are. We're out here running around doing dumb shit. And... It, off your off this projected dumb shit. Mm. Like when they did the like when they were doing the whole mommy issues on TV and shit. That shit wasn't fake. Like the way it was projected and programmed to us all. Fuckery, yes. But like those messages in there, that that mother son dynamic. You know, the girlfriend that always that the mom doesn't like. Mom, you don't like any of my girlfriends. I don't know why I'm ever single. Or the whole show about oh gosh. Goddamn oof. Shameless. I remember watching Shameless from the jump. And being entertained. And then as I matured and continued to watch Shameless, I'd be like, yo, this shit's sadder than a motherfucker. I don't, I don't, I can't get off on this. Can't get off on this no more. Like there's messages in it, but I'm like, God damn, man, that shit is that's just a lot. That's that's some goddamn eesh. Like, that's some eesh type shit. Like, ah, late, man. Y'all all right? Anyway. Using color magic. Tones and whatnot. Breathing. Libraries all there. The more places to get it. Um, Z Library as well as PDF Drive. And where's the online library? What is it? Not research gate. Um, why am I? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Internet. Yeah. Internet archive. Archive.org. That's a that's a dope one. Dope one as well. Yeah, um, especially on your book reading. Med meditate before the book. Even 30 seconds, minute, whatever. 
visualize yourself reading the book, how you're going to feel afterwards. Um, you can even visualize yourself speaking on some of the things that you know of. If you ever have any issues with that type of visualization, you can visualize. I like to I, I like this visualization for myself. It's whenever I'm doing something or manifesting something, whatever I'm manifesting, I go make a speech about it. So I go to a, you know, it'd be like a whole spot, an auditorium of something, hundred thousands of people, maybe just thirty. <laughs> however many um they'll be there you know i walk up you know i have whatever i'm preparing speech and woo 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 and i walk up the step the steps and then go on stage and you know i'm at the microphone and i begin my speech on what i'm manifesting what's you know won this did that got this award this certification building you know, ribbon cutting ceremony, whatever it may be. And if you're searching for words to say or anything like that, take the speech and just do a gratification ceremony where you're doing, where you have five things that you're grateful for that would be in alignment with the um, manifestation. So let's say you're manifesting a car, you know, car. Yo, I want to be thankful for, uh, you know what I'm saying, my parents for, you know, some of the cars that they drove back in the day or the the car that I'm, I'm thankful for, my uncle for taking me around in his or the garage or the money, the loan, whatever. I want to thank the thank source for uh, uh, abundance and and was able to woo, 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 however it may be, and that speech. And then at the end, hand clap, woo, 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 you come down, meditation done. And then you, you know, ground yourself in brown, keep it pushing. So, uh, and then however many times you want to keep practicing with that. But yeah, using going on stage and looking out into the crowd and like when you're making your speech you can hear you like I hear myself echo you know because I'm over a PA system or something like that or sometimes I'll have a band in the background hey man I like to laugh at my shit up so yeah so even if it's for a book you know you all want to think you know, such and such for having uh, for put me on books years ago. Um, shouts to my favorite book. Woo, woo, woo. I love reading that book when I was a kid. Shouts to uh, the person, people who put you, who got you interested in books. Like whatever vehicle that may be, whether it's people, places, or things. Mm. And yeah, ooh, thank the author for gratitude for the author, gratitude for, you know, the ancestors that that brought the book to you. Shout out to the spirit guys that brought the book to you. You know what I'm saying? The information that you're going to get from it, you'll be able to use. And then boom, there's your visualization. Especially with a book. Um, that way you don't have to put so much, put the pressure on yourself to read the whole entire thing and then get it. Most times, uh, a good practice is to read the chapter or just read the segment. Go through the introduction, the foreword, the contents, all of it, the index, and then start. You'll figure it out. You always do. That's the best thing about it. Like I said, you may read the whole thing and then come back and then read it again. 
and then do the practices. By myself, I like to read and practice while I do it. Like if there's a meditation, I like to do the meditation while I'm there. If it's a visualization, I like to visualize while I'm doing while I'm reading. However you get to your info is how you get to your info. And uh you on. So let's close up with some AMs. All right, so ADHD is just so misunderstood. I'll say this about what I'm finding is there's so much talk about and probably do it the same too like me acknowledging the program of talking about how terrible shit is before you even get to a possible solution that may or may not even work for you because it's something that you got to stay on and get hooked to. Although being obsessive about breath work, you know, a healthy addiction of with uh, breath work. Hmm. Well, just be mindful of your commercials. Especially the ones that you don't pay attention to. <laughs> like there's there's definitely ones that you you just you really tune out on. And them be the ones subconsciously. Oh, they like, yeah, we got you, bitch. Because they don't give a fuck whether you acknowledge them or not. Bitch, they own energy moves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As long as the energy moving, they don't give a fuck. That's why I have in certain crystals around you know what i'm saying around your things keep that power for you all right let's go back to our virtual piano we're gonna blue according to the other one oh um. His pipe scale, the blue is on G. Libra, F sharp, and then the C for the balance. Mm. So we do blue or C? I mean, blue or F? And which one is that? Is that the do re mi so blue so blue yeah we do either one mm. so <clears throat> like this I mean, we literally just watched the scene and we've got the picture right behind. So, let us new share. Just gonna do computer. There we go. You don't need me 
back there. <laughs> so we got this blue right here. Meditating. Yes, yes, yes. So for this meditation, we are visualizing blue energy entering on our inhale through our nostrils into our throat area, throat chakra, neck, upper shoulders, upper neck area, that jaw, mouth, back of the neck, that high frequency blue energy flowing throughout our neck area, our neck space. And that visualization on the inhale during the hold and on our exhale. So so options there. I'm going to go with soul. I'm going to go with soul on this one. Well, actually, I'm going to go with blue. I'm going to go with blue on this one. Well, I mean soul. Your soul. Soul chakra. Soul chakra. You know. I mean, you can't lose. You're going to win with every single one of them. Please believe. And you can definitely uh, practice with each one. So we'll go ahead in. 6363 six, three breath. Visualizing blue energy on the inhale, filling our neck space, throat area space. Hold for three, exhale through the nose for six, then hold at the end of the breath for three. Continue. We'll do that three times. Blue, blue, deep exhale with blue in mind. Deep exhale, deep inhale, and a longer hold.
How you feel? How you feel? Sitting on the mail from a dollar bill. Mm. My sense of smell is heightened. Wow. Hmm. Well, that was a meditation. We'll continue those. Track our progress. <clears throat> and shouts to all the unknown magicables that are going to be transpiring over the next week or so with this blue energy and as well as the orange and green and whatever color vibrations we'll be tapping into mm. yeah this one's 17. i have a good one and continue to practice those Whatever resonates, resonates. Whatever don't, don't worry about it. You good. Mm. March 10th, have a good one.